Hello everybody and welcome. Yes, you see it here first. I did purchase this. Came out yesterday. PBA Pro Bowling 2023. And boy do I have some news that I found out. Yes, we have a real career mode, folks. Season by season. Exactly what I've been asking for. So now you you go do the do the event. You don't qualify. Tough luck. You move on to the next one and keep going through the season. And then you come back next season and do it. That's right. Season by season career mode. Nothing like it was in the past. Once I saw that comment saying how the career mode was overhaul, I, and, I, and I commented, I was like, you mean they have season by season career mode, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, yes. And I'm like, hells yeah, let's go. So that's right, folks. Launching it for the first time. I purchased it and downloaded it from work. On my phone this morning. God, that was risky. Jesus. <coughs> that. Oh God, what am I doing? What was that? That was the most pathetic jump in my. Fall Guys career! And that one was uh, second place right behind it too. this guy come from? I was leading the way. Rude. Really? Alright. Man, I can't wait. Cow. Go through it for the Cow first time. Looking for. Everything I heard is so different. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I think oh shit! There's Darn like it. Like the bowling balls now, you have to upgrade to do certain things with them now. I should have been first No more gold there. pins. That was rude. Simulation, definitely. Uh oh. Oh, oh, I thought you made it and then you didn't. I saw me jump at the... Oh, that throws my timing all off. Oh. Come on, dude! <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <coughs> I was doing so good earlier until you showed up. What the hell? I was over top of it! Is that the one I have to choose? Dude. Oh my! Alright, why can't I move? Why can't I go see what other ones are? That's 5,000. I have 50,000. I want to see what else we got, man. What the hell is this? I don't want to. God, what is this? This is getting painful to watch. <laughs> Dude, what is that? I'm fighting Now I can move. Storm High Road. Shit, I have to wait till I'm at level 10. Is there any storm I can purchase? I have to wait. I'm a storm person.
<coughs> oh, I see tear. Jeez, what do they got? What storms? Let's see what's um, one storm they got. I don't even see storm in this tier. Jeez. Oh, storm crux. I freaking jump! We are going wrong. Storm code black. Storm brainstorm. Storm optimus. Storm Crux Prime, Storm Physics. See, I have the Astrophysics, and I have the Alpha Crux, and this is the Crux Prime, which is the one I was actually gonna get the Crux Prime after, but I never ended up getting that one. Still a lot of tears left. Storm IQ. I wonder if they have the, they gotta have the, um, the Nova, because that's what I got. Storm Parallax, that's a nice looking ball. Storm Fast Pitch. Storm Clear Storm Electric Blue. Storm Trend, Storm Pitch Black. Storm Pro Motion. Storm Phase Three. This is only tier four, there's still two more. So, Let's see what we got. Storm Omega Crux, Storm Axiom. Storm IQ, still no storm. Storm phase two, storm supersonic. I still don't see the Nova. Storm dark code, storm ice blue. They gotta have, they gotta have the Nova on this. Got to. Storm Clear Storm Black Belmo. <clears throat> Storm Trend 2. I'm disappointed. I am hugely disappointed they don't have the Nova on here. They don't have any of my actual bowling ball. I actually have the High Road. But that's so old. I have that one, but it's so old. How do you not have the Storm Nova? How do you not have the Nova? Oh, I missed the Storm Rocket. I didn't even see that one. I don't think. That's uh, kind of that's frustrating, actually. Anyway, so settings, gameplay, no nope, simulation, pin camera, center. Okay. Music and sound. Sound effect volume. Controls. <coughs> Online terms. Local multiplayer. Career mode. That's where we're heading. Oh, uh, well, real quick, I do know. They added four PBA bowlers. I can't remember which ones are new. I know Pete Weber is one of the new ones, but I can't remember the other ones. Who else is new? Since we haven't played any PBA for bowling in a while, we haven't talked bowling in a while. Um, I actually met Jason Belmonte this summer because the Women's Pro Tour camp comes around me. They were here for the uh, U.S. Open. The Women's U.S. Open was half hour away from me, 35 minutes away from me. So I went and watched couple times a couple different days and Belmo was in the area he was up there almost every day he showed up but the first day I was there I, Belmo walked right in walked right by me I actually didn't even notice because <clears throat> I was taking pictures <coughs> and the girl next to me was, was that Belmo just walked by I was like what and I turned around the bar and he's standing there I was like holy shit it, real, it was him just randomly showed up in the at the women's uh, tournament there, so that was pretty cool. I got my picture with him and stuff, so that was neat. 
Real deal, Bill O'Neill. Austin Kalerma, Chris Blaze, Brayton, Ronnie Russell, Matt Sanders, Anthony Simons, and Tom Smallwood, Jesper Sunson, EJ Tackett, Darren Tang, Kyle True, Chris Vai, Pete Weber, Stuart Williams, and Walter Ray Williams Jr. Anthony Simonson, Matt Sanders, I already did those. Sean Rash, Chris Prather, Oscar Palermo, Rhino Page, Bill O'Neill, Wes Malott, Francis Lavoie, Marshall Kent, Shada Kawazu, Tommy Jones, Liz Johnson, Norm Duke, Jacob Buttruff, Parker Bone III, Jason Belmonte, Dom Barrett, Chris Barnes, Andrew Anderson, Character 4, Character 3, Character 2, Character 1. So that's the characters that are in here. Now the career mode, this is what I was saying. You're in for a treat, folks. The career mode is completely different. We have a PBA Tour point system now. <clears throat> so here is the point system. So the Tour points, there's actually a point system for each season. As you look at the top, it says career year one. Which means there's multiple seasons. Stats. This is similar to the other. Uh, the old stats there. but <clears throat> The trophies. 300 ring. Tournament trophies. Notice there's not like 100 different trophies. But. You get to keep redoing these. You know every season. Pro shop. This is where I was before. So the compete. If you go to compete, you get to compete and you pick the region, which is what the first event is for the season. How they have the regional finals. So I'm gonna go east. Let's see how many are there. East, west, central, south, southwest. Five of them. So yeah, we're gonna go east since I'm in the east. But yeah, see how you notice. <clears throat> this is the sched the tour schedule <clears throat> the PBA players championship East region the PBA players championship Which I think is only the five winners go to this and do a stepladder. I think So if you don't qualify for this you don't get to do this you move right on the next one World Series a bowling world championship you go through that Or that's the world championship pattern and the World Series of bowling cheetah the World Series of bowling chameleon and the scorpion patterns and then you got the USBC Masters, the US Open, and the Tournament of Champions, and the Super Slam, and the PBA Playoffs. So yes, you get to do the top 24 playoffs. That's awesome. My, that's what my guess is, anyway. This is what I'm interested in. The US Open, is it just as grueling as the real US Open? With however many games you have to bowl, do you have to do all of that? Do you actually have to go through the grueling uh, schedule for the U.S. Open to try to qualify for that? Also, that guess what else? If because so, I was watching a video, <coughs> the guy didn't qualify for the uh, this, so I skipped this because he wasn't eligible for that. And then did this World Series of Bowling World Championship. Did, at the end of the qualifying, it actually went, it actually says you need to be in the top eight. Because they actually have match play in this career mode. Just like real life, they actually have match play. So you get to, you have to be in the top eight, you go through match play, and then you worry, then you try to make the top five to do the step out of finals. So freaking awesome. I'm so glad. This is like a real career mode, and I'm so pumped up for this. Let's get started with the PBA Regional Championship, East Region. And then this is what another thing. You get the bowl. There's four qualifying rounds, three games each. So three games, three games, three games, three games. So you're bowling 12 games, and then the top five move on to the East Region Finals, which then you have to, I think, have to even win that. <coughs> To go to this. I think you have to actually win it. To move on to this. I could be wrong. I can't remember how that works. Exactly. But the PBA Players Championship. 
East region is what I chose. Qualifying round one, let's get underway. It's going to be a semi-long video because it's... But the good thing is we don't have to keep redoing anything if we don't make it. You don't make it, you don't make it, you move on. So 12 games we're doing qualifying round one. Starting now, three games, 27 bowlers on the Viper pattern. Let's do it, folks. New career mode, PBA 2023. <coughs> Hello and welcome to Richmond, Virginia at the qualifying round of the PBA Players' Championship East Region. The format of this event is simple. Each player bowls 12 games spread over four rounds. The top five scores move on to the region finals. The winner of each region then moves on to the PBA Players' Championship Finals for a shot at the first major title of the season. Please to on the right way. Oh! 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 Oh. I won't be there the first two oh, weeks man. because I'm busy. Oh, oh. Right, so now, I have no idea what to expect with this ball and this new game yet. So, Why? it's not going to be anywhere. I don't know where it's going to end up. Oh. Oh. This. oh my god! Are you freaking serious? I can't. Oh, how many people are watching this? Oh. I can't wait to buy a new ball. Something that was my YouTube in the background. Plus, I, I read reviews. People were actually talking really good about this game compared to the other ones. So, looking forward to that. <clears throat> this in the future. I guess the, the physics of the pins are even better in this. And I thought they were okay in the last one. But they do seem even better in this. It seems like it runs a lot smoother. Trying for the double now. Only thing, the only thing I noticed they still didn't do, we're still still bowling on the right lane. We're not switching lanes here. Oh. Oh man, ten pin stays. <coughs> the ten pin gets converted ninety five percent of the time. Here. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, just a little wide that time. Oh my god, what the Just hell? There and missed the target. You see how often the 10 pin is converted 95% of the time. Come on! Last two frames, both left over. When mistakes pile up like this, you've got no chance. Oh boy. Yes. Looking for two straight here. Oh, that was a hit light. Missed the <coughs> hit there. Yeah, came in a little light. Oh, no. Got it. 
<clears throat> oh no, it's fast. Oh my god. Oh. I can't get a good pocket shot with this ball. I just have to suffer for a tiny little bit here until I can get a good ball. I have enough money. Well, I don't know, actually. Just, I just want to storm bowling ball. Which the first storm is, I think, level 5. I just went to level 2 already. So by the end of this qualifying, which I probably won't make this the finals for this. But that looks good. There we go. <clears throat> Looking for a streak here, two in a row. Get there. Yes. Got a new Great release. Already has two strikes. Looking for a third. Get there. Thank you. Go, man. Going for the hambo now, Randy. Looking really good here. Come on, let me say it for the first time in this new game. Let me say it. Come on. Give me some. Hambone! A little excited. Sorry, this game is great. Just the career mode, I'm telling you. That was the biggest thing I was complaining about. And man, did they get this right this time, finally. Now the next thing that I want them to work on is like a league. Like an online league or something. Uh, 194 to start off, not bad. Two games left here in the first qualifying round. But remember, there's 12 games of qualifying, so there could be a lot of moving going on. 17th place after the first game. Chris Prather with a hell of a game there. This is the standings. We're sitting in 17th. Just ahead of Walter Ray Williams. Who's at the bottom? Ronnie, Wa Ronnie Russell with a 134. So we're sitting 17th. Still 11 games of qualifying to go, so I'm not worried. <coughs> game number two of round one. to the PBA Players Championship East region. Rob Stowe joined by the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson. Game two is all set to begin. Let's get to it. What the f <clears throat> oh, at least that was the first frame. But damn, I didn't deserve that. Almost left the 7 8 10. Holy hell. As you can see, this one is rarely picked up. Opens with trouble here. Yeah, not the strike you're looking for in this match. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Wide Killing me. Couldn't get the corner on that one. Oh, man. That sucks. <coughs> Trying to get the strike train rolling right here. Oh my god, what the hell is happening? Damn. Freaking killing me.
Bro, you f are you joking me? Oh my god. This is torture. Three out of four frames? Can't come up with this. Damn. It's a rare thing to see anyone pick that up. Just gotta move on. What the fuck? How do you throw five splits in a row? You're going to try to hit the right side of the six, send it into the seven, bowling ball takes out the ten. Oh my god, dude. Are you joking me right now? Is this some kind of a joke? I can't ca I cannot catch a break. I just cannot catch a break. This is not a split. <clears throat> and no problem there. Oh no. This is gonna kill me in the standings. This this game is just not having it. Nice job converting there. Not having it at all. Holy God. <clears throat> oh, level four already. Thank God, I need to get rid of this ball. Holy shit. <clears throat> this game is horrible, dude. Horrible. Oh my god, I need to strike out for 154. Oh my god. Nope, oh, can't even do that. Back to back ten <sighs> Got this there. why it didn't make it to the pocket. That'll so do it for bad. game two. Game three coming up. Drop the 21st, I think. Yeah, drop the 21st. 335. I'm gonna do one more quick game and then I'm gonna run downstairs and wake her up. <coughs> Be that kind of day is it 10 pin the 10 pin gets converted 95 percent of the time picked it up
Oh boy. <laughs> Wide on that one. <coughs> Train rolling right here. Come on. Yeah, that's God. a soft 10 there, and the six pin just didn't do its job. Takes out the 10 there. Oh my fucking god! Ten holds again. Yep, that's why it's such a fractional game. It doesn't take a whole lot. <coughs> Shot was wide, was unfortunately that missed the pocket. <laughs> Thought it had a shot, but no. Yeah, and that would have been the spare conversion of the game. And don't worry, I promise we'll get to the simulator week games here right after this uh, first career mode um, event. Um, I know I got two games of simulator week to do here for today, and I will take care of that right after this. Today I was going to do the GOAT simulator and possibly flight simulator. There was another one, I can't remember what it was. Oh, that looks good. What the hell was that? eight pins in the pit. Leaving the four and seven. I thought they hit my pocket. Got this there. Oh. I have to do some of bus simulator. Flight simulator trust. Oh yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, flight simulator will be the other one. No. Takes out nine. We reach the end of round one. Round two coming your way next. Twenty third. Did I really drop? For the one ninety one? Oh my best game yet. I did. Wow. 23rd. 526. Triple. Eesh. Only 170 back in the lead, though, with nine games left to qualify. Alright, before we continue, I'm going to buy a damn ball here. Find a storm and go with it. Oh, 7,500. Is there another one? Wait, what's this? How much does that one cost? 
Damn it, that's a level 10 ball. Okay. Uh. So that's the only storm there is right now. Storm rocket. We're gonna take it. I'll be right back. Hold on a second. I guess she's gonna stay asleep and she's not gonna get up and work. Uh, okay. Let's move on. <coughs> I don't have to work tomorrow, so I can stay up late and I'm going to. <laughs> so don't you work. Welcome back to our coverage of the PBA Players Championship East Region. Rob Stone here, along with my colleague, the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson. Game one is set to begin right now. All right, now this ball's going to be way different, so i got to learn this one now. That was a good guess. Just a fractional miss down lane, and boom! Right through the face. <clears throat> that was definitely a good guess on that. Cleans the plate here in the first. Start doing things with a better ball. Trying for the double now. I like that the fans are definitely more lively, and they actually stand up. I noticed I saw a couple stand up. Yes. Just what you 
Hopefully they still give him the Santa hats and stuff for Christmas. And pumpkin masks and stuff for Halloween. Oh no. Yes. Yeah, it's hitting a little light, but it's carrying a lot better. Rip that time? No, I had a turkey before. I swear I had three in a row before. Good streak going right now. One more rob and you get to say your favorite word. Hambo. Yeah, I had a hand bone before. Hambo! That's what it looks like when you start getting into the zone. We're sponsored today by Storm Bowling Product. Nice. Bowling makes us happy. I like it. They got signs. Looking to keep cool. the streak alive, going for five in a row. Oh no! That's oh no! Oh, that was definitely slower than I wanted it to be, but it worked. Boy, I, I figured this ball out pretty quick here on the Viper. I bowled on the Viper this past su this summer, and I didn't like it too much. Uh, I don't like this damn Viper pattern. I don't like the short pattern. The Viper and the Cheetah is what brought my average down in the PBA Experience League that I did this summer. Strikes in a row, looking for eight. Oh, that's fast. That is fast. Oh, I carried. It carried. Yeah, didn't get it flush in the pocket, but got a nice break. The streak is at eight. Incredible talent on display right here. Am I going to come back in the standings here? Oh! Well, ace that shot there and comes away with a ringing ten. Couldn't finish that 290 off, but it's okay. Great game. For game one, game two coming your way next. See, that's first in. Oh, it's first in this uh, round, but overall, what's it going to be? That's going to bring me up a lot, I think. Oh, wow, up to eighth, dude. Oh, my God, we are up to eighth. We're still almost 100 out of first, but we are up to eighth place, and there's still eight games left, so I'm. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about this. We can make the step ladder finals in the first event of the career mode would be very, very good. Oh, this is the bear pattern, not the viper. Welcome back to our coverage of the PBA Players Championship East Region. Rob Stone joined by the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson. Game two is all set to begin. Let's get to it. Oh god. Slow. Starts with the double. Look 
looking for three in a row now. <coughs> oh! Oh! Got lucky. Go. I reach level ten to get the other bowling ball here pretty soon. Now we'll see if the streak extends to five. This is some good bowling, <coughs> Rob. I'm liking this ball though. <coughs> is at five right now. This is what it looks like when you have the hot hand. Perfection. Do it! Six strikes to start. Pure, nasty filth, Rob. Working off a six-bagger now. Yep, the pinch just keep going down. Damn it! I knew it! I freaking knew it! Did not see that coming. Maybe uh, just a pinch saw. Good chance of making this one. Cleans it up. Trying for the double now. Two in a row now. Looking for another strike now to get that turkey. Three in a row for the turkey. For the ham bone here, four strikes in a row. Yes. There's the ham bone. You betcha. Is that the end of the game, or is it almost full? Already with the ham bone. One more ball. For five now. Let's hear it from back to back 279. Uh oh, no, never mind. 277. That was a miss inside of target, and that's why it went high. That'll do it for game two. Game three coming up. Oh, 76. That's right. I had eight spare before. How about that? 279, 276, back to back. Right back in it. We're in the top three, folks. How about that? Top three to make the step ladder finals. Still five games left, though. There's still could be a lot. Five games. What am I talking about? Seven games, right? Seven games left still, so a lot can happen. Damn, this is definitely time consuming in this event, but I like it. It should be. It should be hard to make it all the way. Randy Peterson here with you. Game three is about ready to get underway. To 
get a streak going here. Alright. We're locked in now, boy. Already with the double, looking for a triple. Someone is heating up. Oh, that's a little slow. Damn it! Got it inside just a little bit. Did it again. Went high. <sighs> you see the conversion percentage there. Not too difficult for the pros. Converts there nicely. Rain rolling here with two strikes in a row. Oof, I got a lucky. Oh man, straight through the head pin. Oh, Stafford is killing me in this game. Oh my god, he's only got 8.3. And Cup has 28 on Cage's team. I am going to so lose this week. Oh, my God. Not a good start. Not a good start. <coughs> Mother, My dad's got Buffalo defense. That's helping him against Bill right now. <clears throat> well, if you're into fantasy football, I did have my... Uh, I had my uh, fantasy, it's my own fantasy league I'm running. I'm the commissioner of it. But we had our uh, live fantasy draft. I streamed it on Monday night. So if you wanted to check that out, you can. That should be up on my YouTube channel as well. If you're into that. Um, uh -oh. I think they are just starting to break down a little bit here. The lights are on and the pressure is cranked up. Looking for another strike now to get that turkey. Three in a row for the turkey. <coughs> Working off a triple, trying to make it a ham bone. Uh. Got a ringing ten out of that. Sorry, Rob. You couldn't, couldn't say ham bone that time. Cleans it up. Still a good, solid game, though, to stay where I am, I think. I don't have to do anything crazy right now, so... I'm not worried. That's some pretty good pin action right there. Should be a halfway decent 200. Two I think at 247 if I strike out, if I remember right. Well, that's not happening. So another 10. Pin. Maybe we're in the 220, yep. 230s right now.
concludes round two. Stay tuned for round three coming up. 227. We're up to second. Kyle Troop leading the way. Jacob Butcher trails in third. Chris Prather fourth. And Chris Vi in fifth. That is your current top five. Look at Pete Weber. Three pins out of the top five for the stepladder. EJ Tackett, another 10 back. And Norm Duke, uh, looks like 18 back. And three back of him. Stu Williams, and then uh, 16, 17 back. Wait. That was right the first one. 16 back. Well, him is Marshall Kent. No, it's 17 back. All right. <clears throat> All right, so that's the top 10. We look down the list. Belmo struggling. <clears throat> Parker Bone, the third. Dead last. Yikes. Poor Parker Bone, man. Every single game, he's always at the bottom. I feel so bad. I never got to really, I never got to bowl against him. I hope, I hope this game has it where it's way more like random of who's up at the top and not same people all the time, but I don't know. All right, half of the qualifying is complete. We go to the round three, three games in round three of qualifying start now. I think I led, definitely led the way in qualifying. I literally went from 23rd to 2nd in that stretch of, in that qualifying round. So, man, the round two really do good for me right there. Let's continue it for the next two rounds. Oh, boy, that's bad. Off target on that one. Didn't make it to the pocket. Went light. I wonder if they re-oiled them because that felt like I was going off of what I finished with and it felt like it was back to almost where it wasn't going to hook. So, <clears throat> they might be fresh oil at the beginning of each three game set. So, I couldn't really tell the first time I did it because I went, I changed balls. So, I couldn't really tell the difference between the first and second round. But now that I'm using the same ball from round to round, it looks like they re-oiled them and it's back to, I like that, because that's, that's the way it is. It's re-oiled between each session and mm, yeah, that's a little fast. I don't know. <clears throat> <in a row. clears throat> Make it three in a row here. The Kuki Park Racing Circuit will be preserved in the leading motorsport simulator service, iRacing. What? Are they getting another track or something? I racing the world's leading motorsport simulation platform, best known. Oh. I believe you would call that a handbook. So that apparently the supercar is going to this track called Pakikoi Park or something in Australia. Is that what it is? Australia. I don't know. That's striking last night. I'm not sure. <clears throat> <There's a coughs> it says it will be preserved in the mo in iRacing. So, the confirmation of the agreement between iRacing and the circuit owners come during the week of Supercars Championship's final appearance at the track. So the track must be closing, but it looks like they're going to let we'll iRacing scan it before they do anything with it. Is what it seems like is going to happen, which that's pretty cool. That way I get to save the track on iRacing if it's going away. They really should do that to more tracks around if they're Oh that bit oh of a goodness, seven that pin. Looked like a fantastic shot. Yeah, I mean that was so <clears throat> good, really good. Everything about that was good. Except the result. 
It's not the first time Irishing scanned a circuit prior to its real-life closure. Oran Park was scanned before converting to housing in 2010, with motorsport activities set to cease at the circuit at April, 23, April 2023. The case for historic New Zealand circuit to be laser scanned by Irishing became clear. Oh, so that's a New Zealand. So, yeah, it looks like they're closing in real life. But iRacing is going to scan it before, you know, something's done to the track. Um, that way, it's at least preserved in iRacing. So I guess, <clears throat> within a few hours of the announcement of the parks repurposing, we reached out to iRacing to scan the circuit and they agreed almost immediately. So the track actually contacted iRacing for them to do that before they close it. That's awesome. The demand for the digital version of the circuit of competitors and fans alike was clear with an online petition gaining nearly 7,000 signatures and garnering the support of the king of the that <laughs> Greg Murphy as well as Supercars and IndyCar star Scott McLaughlin. Looking to get on a streak now, hunting two in a row. I've been paying attention to this so much, I don't even know what I got right now in score. <laughs> got it. Get it going on TV. The lights are on, and the pressure is cranked up. Now at two strikes in a row, will we see three? We just might. <clears throat> so yeah, it looks like all important laser scan data and images will be captured before the circuit's closure. The street going right now. One more Robin, you get to say your favorite word, Hambo. Messenger just mixing. Great release on that one. Very nice. I'm in the five bagger here. Yahtzee. Strikes just keep coming. Five in a row now. with five straight strikes, will we see six? Brings down the hammer again, another strike. <coughs> so Oren Park actually closed, I guess, before it got, or like, so they scanned that before it got, before it ended up scanning that before it closed. Game one is in the so that's pretty cool. 269 I shot. I didn't even know what I shot. 269. Taking the lead in the East Regional. Welcome back to our coverage of the PBA Players Championship East Regional. You can, oh shit, I moved on that. You can actually hear fans talking and kind of screaming. That, that is definitely way different than the last one. I like that actually. It feels like a live event more than the other one did. So I like it. It's just so much better. It's just so much better. I'm telling you right now, it's so much better. The gameplay does feel a little smoother. The pin action is a little bit, definitely a little different, definitely better. And the career mode, though, is the big change for me. The big win-win for me, the career mode. I've been begging for a season-by-season -season career mode. None of this have to pass it to move on. 
kind of thing. You bitch. Goes a little high with that one. But yeah, this is just everything I had hoped for. I mean, there's still more things I want, but the, right there, the career mode is exactly what I want. Now we can move on, keep this game like it is, and the next one, I would love for them to like work on a like a league online league mode. Even an online career mode would be cool. But online league mode, where like you could set it up, where it keeps track of your averages. You get as many people you want and invite them into it. And basically, like you know how Madden does it, where you um, you get 32 teams to join a league, and then you have it. Yeah, you, you can set a time frame of when to get the game played and completed. That sucked. Ugh. That could have been bad, but... <clears throat> so, like... So, like, the whoever runs the league or, like, the commissioner of the league can, like, set it to, like, you have, you have one day at a time to do this or, yes, or you can have a seven-day time frame to get your three games for the weekend and you do 32 weeks of, like, league or whatever or set however many weeks you want it to be. Um, set how many players you want it to be. Set if you want AI included. Um, plus, have it where you can actually bowl with one of your if one of your friends that's in the league. You can actually bowl together online, like head to head, and it counts towards your league. Or you can bowl solo, where it counts your score towards it as well. Just as long you can bowl whenever you want during that time frame to get your three games in, and then wait till the week advances. And then bowl another three whenever you have time in between that time frame. That would, And then it keeps your overall average and all that stuff. That would be really, really cool. I really think they should do that in the future. So if you're anybody, any developer is watching this, um, just, just the ideas for future games. For online multiplayer, online league mode, online career would be really cool, for sure. Also, I guess I said career is perfect and everything the way they have it. The only other thing I would see at the moment, what I can think of, is create a player. So. You're, you can actually put your name and it blends in with everybody else instead of your gamer tag. Have you actually be able to create a player and, you know, have... Oh, boy. Have it where you can actually see your name on the back of your jersey. Barely, I know, but... Oh, geez, I almost hooked it. We still should be able to see a little bit of the signature, even though it's like you can see through them. You could, but like in this shot, you definitely would be able to see it in shots like that. But it'd be cool if you're able to see your name on the back of your jersey. Reach the conclusion of game two. Stay tuned for game three coming up next. All right, four games left to qualify, and Troop passed me again by five pins. But we got a pretty solid gap over third place right now. Oh no. Oh, wow, what happened to Pete Weber? Dropped all the way to 10th, 1633. He's 44 pins out of 5th. Stu Williams is up there, though. Remember, the top 5 go to stepladder. But it still says 27 bowlers advance because we're still going. Because everybody goes through all the qualifying rounds. So Once we get to the next round of qualifying, the final round, then you'll see the top five advance. Welcome back to our coverage of the PBA Players Championship. Oh, that's fast. All lucky. She's good out of the gate, Randy. So far, so good. Looking for two straight here. <clears throat> Hit it. Yeah, flat ten left on that one. You see how often the ten pin is converted ninety-five percent of the time. Got it. Yeah. Wide on that one. 
once we bought a bowling ball, look at us go, though. We were completely out of it almost in 23rd out of 27 after the first three games of qualifying. Here we are in the ninth total game of qualifying. And we're leading, or a second place overall. Behind Kyle, five pins behind Kyle Troop. So that means I was leading, and I shot a 246 and got passed. So Troop had a good game last game, I guess. So it'd be cool if you could see. I I know this is a little much. I I love. I'm a stats person also. I love stats. Um, I have the best bowling app that I keep track of all my scores in on my phone. So I can see all my 10 pin percentages, everything. That would be another cool addition to career mode. And you being able to see everybody's scores. So you know how you see the total score at the end. But it would be cool if it showed what everybody bowled to get to that score. Each game in each qualifying session. It would be cool to see each game that everybody bowled that you're bowling against. Um, and then stats, like, more than just what it shows. Like, show your 10-pin average and 10-pin percentage, spare percent. Well, it does some of you. But, like, your your pin percentages and stuff, like how your 10-pin percentage, all that stuff could be added as stats. I'm, I love stats, so... Any extra stats you can add, that would be also another good addition. But definitely the perfect step in the right direction, the way this career mode is set up, because I've been dying for a season-by-season -season career mode. I've been saying that time and time again. <clears throat> and it makes a difference in the feel of an actual career. I'm loving this, so... And man, it, it definitely makes you grind through this event to make the finals, too. 12 games of qualifying, and it doesn't make you do it over if you don't make it. This is the way it should be. This is what a career is, season by season. You move on to the next event, you come back next year to do it. That's exactly the way it needs to be. And this is perfect. You don't make it, you move on to the next event. Luckily for us, it looks like we might make it. Still three games to go, but we are in a very good position to qualify for the first set of finals in career mode. And possibly even with the number one seed in the stepladder finals. How cool would that be? Starting off with a possible win. With all these qualifying games I'm doing right now, I would love to take number one seed just so I only have to bowl one game in the finals. That would be definitely the best way to go. Even second place, though, I'd only have to bowl two games at the most. But oh, we took the lead back. Troop didn't have as good of a game this time. I was down five, and now I'm up 34. So I gained 39 pins on him this round. So still three games left, but me and Kyle Troop are pretty much running away so far with this. I'm 112, 111 pin, 121 pins ahead of third, but more importantly, almost 180 pins ahead of fifth. If I lose the top five, I deserve to lose the top five. Holy shit, we're doing the shark pattern. Oh, this is going to be way different. Good thing I got this leeway room because I might need it here for this. I bowled on the shark this summer as well. Oh man, this is gonna be different. Um, oh boy. Oh, yeah, that was beautiful. <coughs> Alright, still got three games to go. This is definitely grinding and grueling. So, seems like every time I play this game, I'm going to have to make time for this game. Because obviously I want to do each event in one video. So, I really have to make room. I really can't do this if I have to go somewhere. 
in an hour or two. I have to have time ahead of me to be able to do this. Because this is definitely taking more time than any of the other ones did. I wouldn't say any of the other ones. All the ones that... I mean, obviously I've had ones that took two, two and a half hours because I couldn't pass it. But at least this, you know, you get through it. Yes, it's long, but you get through everything. You don't have to redo it. You know what you got in front of you, and that's what you're doing. So... For five now. Oh, you! Oh, thank God, Jesus! Already with five straight strikes, will we see six? Can we get our first three hundred in the first event? Another perfect shot right there. Looking to keep the streak going here. Oh, that's slow. Oh, yes. The pins keep falling seven in a row. Now is when you have to block everything out. A perfect game is in sight. Will this continue? Going for Oh, that's fast. Are you fine? Why do I keep screwing up? Still a great start to this match. I know it's early. It's only the very first, you know, event of our career mode. I, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Plenty of more games to ball in this career. Because I already made 10 seasons of playlists for this. So, doesn't mean I'm going to do that. But I always go ahead of myself with that. Exactly. Oh, I want that other one back. Oh my god. I so want that other one back. Huge break right there. Missed the pocket and still got a strike. Looking for what right now, Randy? I believe you would call that a hand bone, my friend. <clears throat> streak continues with four strikes in a row. I unlocked the new storm. The storm. All the level 10 bowling balls have been unlocked, which the storm um, high road is unlocked. Now I can purchase it. I can use that as well now. There it is, the high road. Second. Oh my gosh, I have 279 and Troop gained on me? I think he gained on me a little, didn't he? What the hell did he shoot? Two games left of qualifying. Still got a 30 pin lead over Kyle Troop. A 48 foot shark pattern. Is where we are right now. <clears throat> I don't know what the finals are going to be on, but welcome back to our coverage of the PBA players. It's been a different pattern each round. Oh shit! I don't even remember where I stood. I think it was right here and shot like right about there. It seems close. Yeah, that seems about right. Gets it going here with the strike. Nice way to start. Looking for the double. Hunting the turkey here with this next throw. All right, let's do it. Starts with a stand up triple. <coughs> Working off a triple, trying to make it a ham bone. Oh, oh, I got lucky. That came in high. Wow. Already with the 
ham bone. Looking for five now. Did it again? Hmm. Oh boy, did not see that. That was the same as the last one. I just didn't get the carry this time. Still no 300 yet, but. I'm just looking to get to the final and see if I can win it. There's no room on the deck after that shot, folks. Going for the double here. And there's the double. The games go faster when you strike, too. So that, that's good. We're speeding up the process here a little bit. So if I keep this up, I only have to bowl three more games in this video. Good looking shot right there. The turkey has been served. We're looking for the hammer. Oh, no, wait, this is the right second now. game, right? Of this round? Yeah, this is the second game. I think. So that means I just got bowled the third game, the final game of the qualifying. And then if I stay number one, I only have to bowl Going one more game. Bottom. Great focus and some really good bowling. Taking a six pack on this throw. See if we make if I make the PBA player championship. I think what they did on TV was all five winners from each region bowl together qualifying for like like a two or three game qualifying to seed themselves for the five. So you bowl, I think, I wonder if they're going to have it where you bowl three games, the five of you bowl three games, the five winners bowl three games, and then it seeds you one, two, three, four, five. Stay tuned for game And then that's where you'll do the stepladder final. So I think you're guaranteed the stepladder if you win this, if I remember right. We, we definitely have, we definitely qualify for this. We have locked ourselves in to the top five. Oh, Pete Weber back in it. Where the hell did he come from? Pete Weber back in the top five. Too bad I probably won't see him though because it'd be cool if we can actually watch matches. That's another thing that Kermo would be cool to do. If we're able to watch matches like you watch the stepladder finals and you can actually watch each match ai versus ai so that's another thought for future um i know it's a lot but it'd be cool if you can actually watch welcome back to our coverage of the pba players championship because yes p weber is gonna make he might make the top five but i still might not actually see or bowl against him because he might not make it all the way to you know the top Top of the step ladder, but it's possible. You never know. <clears throat> PDW though, in the game for the first time. Everybody's been asking for him since game one. For two in a row. I don't know if they're gonna add bowlers. Um, they did with the very first game. They actually added some bowlers in the first one with a deal with a free patch or something. The second game, I don't think they did that for 20, 2021. I don't think they did that. I think I don't think they added any bowlers in 2021. But maybe they will again for this one. I don't know. It'd be cool if they added some female bowlers in besides Liz Johnson. Why am I throwing it so slow? Jesus. I'm, that's two in a row I did not like. But... It held the in there. Has been served. We're looking for the ham bone course right now. That's better. <clears throat> we had a hundred pin lead, ninety-nine pin lead over second. 
So I think we're almost basically locked in the top seed right now with the first five here. Oh yeah, we locked in number one seed. 99 pin lead. We're already almost in the 200s. We can't lose number one seed. Can we get the 300 to finish qualifying off though? That's next on my list here. Let's do it. Looking for an eight straight strike to open here. Give me some. The perfection continues. Putting on a clinic reading. Yeah, you just have to keep your composure now because you still have a ways to go. The strike streak is at eight and looking for more. Go. Heading in the tenth. Can we do it? For the first time in the first event of the season. 12 games later, but still. <clears throat> My 12th career bowl, 12th career game on PBA 2023. Can it happen here? <clears throat> Two strikes away now from perfection. And you can feel the excitement in the building. I moved. Yes. Eleven in a row now, and the pressure is on. This is making my palms sweat. One away, Randy. This is where you just try to find your zen, Rob. Get into that place. There it is. Nothing, you Boom. We earned a ring. In the first event of career, 12th game in, we earned our first 300 ring. Hell of a way to end qualifying right there. The better level me up. <clears throat> we almost won by 200. Pete Weber makes the top Five by two pins over Jacob Buttriff. Go PDW. Just retired from the uh, PBA Tour. I think he's still going to do like the, the majors, but he's still doing the senior tour and still bowling, but he's retired from the PBA Tour this past year. Was it this past year or was it already last year? I can't remember. Kyle Troop, Chris Prather. Chris Prather might be a new one. I don't remember if he was in the last game or not. He might be one of the new ones added. EJ Tackett, Pete Weber. Top five. Jacob Butcher just missed. Dom Barrett, Norm Duke, Jason Belmonte, Chris Vibe, Bill O'Neill, Marshall Kent, Oscar Palermo, Chris Barnes, Tommy Jones, Stu Williams, Wes Malott, Sean Rash, Darren Tang, Ronnie Russell, Shada Kawaza. I, was, I don't know how to pronounce his last name exactly. Rhino Page, Walter Ray Williams, Andrew Anderson, Liz Johnson, Matt Sanders, and Parker Bone the third rounds out the field with a 1962. And I just shot a hundred, no, a thousand pins more than Parker Bone. And I started off the first three games with a 526. Holy Jesus. We qualified for the stepladder in the first event. The East Regional Finals. Let's see how the stepladder looks. Oh. Oh my god, I almost did face Pete Weber. He made it to the he made it to the semifinal and Kyle Troop beat him. Oh man. Oh man. Pete Weber beat. The number five seed almost went all the way. P. Weber beat E.J. Tackett, beat Chris Prather, but Kyle Troop bested him. <coughs> and we got Kyle Troop in the final. Can we win this? To have a shot at the Players' Championship title. Welcome to beautiful Jupiter, Florida. 
we officially open up the 2021 Professional Bowlers Association season, and we do it with a reinvigorating <coughs> nature. It is the PBA Players Championship. Qualifying for this tournament took place last week in five different regions across our country. The top five from each of those regions made their way here. So 25 of the world's best have descended upon the Florida Atlantic. And over the next four weeks, we will whittle that field down to five ahead of the final show. Today, we're determining the East region's finalists. Pleased to have you with us. I'm Rob Stone. This is the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson. Here's a look at your stepladder format. Our number two seed is set to take on the number one seed here in this title match. Let's get it started. <coughs> now we get a look at Kyle Troop in an outfit you're not going to forget anytime soon. Gets it going here with the strike. Nice way to start. Looking for a streak here. Two in a row. Perfect through two. <coughs> Trying to get the train rolling here with two strikes in a row. Oh, God, that was bad. Oh. Knocks down eight pins, leaving the four and eight. Looking for the spare here. I don't know if I'm going to pull this one off. I'm struggling right now. Mm. It was a hell of a run. Qualifying, we got 300. Man, an event win would put an icing on the cake, but Troop has started off really good against us so far. the turkey here with this next throw. Oh, stone nine. Takes out nine pins. <clears throat> Converts the nine pin. I was standing there. That messenger came across and knocked that shit out. <coughs> See, why? That's the only other thing, though, that I noticed. That why do we get. To only get to bowl in two lanes when we're bowling against somebody. Really, we should be switching lanes the whole time, and we're stuck in one lane the whole time. I, that's the only other thing I noticed that they need to fix with this career mode and stuff. That's the only other thing. Otherwise, again, the way the schedule is and the way the career is actually working with the actual PBA schedule is perfect in that aspect. But there's the little things that they can still adjust. But, oh my god, come on, Troop. Damn it, I finally got a double. You couldn't screw up or something? Yes, I need that. Alright, let's get another one. Put pressure back on Troop. And it's anybody's match. 
Oh no. Uh -oh. Mm. Something went wrong on that one, Randy. Just a oh, it's inside, not good. Just it's a not good. Is all it took. <coughs> <coughs> conversion there working off three strikes in a row I need a split or something here oh damn it that's a hand bone the question now is can you maintain this pace and intensity we've seen a hand bone so far locked in damn it make it five straight everything's clicking right now Come on, Kyle, slow down a little bit here. Kill him. Yes, there you go. Looking for two in a row. Here you see the max score each player can get. Oh, I wish I did that last time. Let's see if the hot streak extends to six here. <coughs> Looking for six straight strikes. Oh, my God. Will we see seven strikes in a row? I'm not doubting anything at this point. Must strike here for the win. A four ten yuck. Oh, I needed that! God damn, I needed that. Flip the left side of the four pin and slide it into the ten. Please miss this shit. He will look to close this out here in the tent. He needs a spare and two pins. Yes. Nope. I have a chance, folks. I have a chance. Working off a double now. Two strikes and eight pins to win. Oh, pressure. The pressure is on. Get back. There's one. The strike train rolls on. Looking for the ham bone now. I mean, it's starting to get hot in here. Here you see what he needs to win. Oh no, that's slow. Get there. Yes! Yes! Got the handball. Great release on that one. Very nice. Handball has been delivered. Looking for a five batter now. Just needs eight. Give me eight. Nine pin. Eight to win. Eight to win. Yes! Winner, winner! Chicken dinner. That's what I'm talking about. Damn, we have a lot of challenges. <coughs> How about that? Winner in the first event. We get to qualify for the PBA Championship. See, let me see how this works. Yeah, see, I knew it. Seeding round. You get a seeding round with the five of you. Three games, seeding round, five bowlers. So you get to bowl three games, and no matter what happens, you're still going to the finals. It's just you figure out your seed. I was right. That's awesome. That is awesome. Well, we'll be back next time for the PBA Players Championship. Thank you for watching the first event in PBA Pro Bowling 2023 on a real schedule here in year one. So good to see that at the top. Man, so nice. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the simulator week coming up next. Thank you for the congrats on the 300. I just noticed that comment now. <clears throat>
Um, I've gotten one on every game now. This one came very early. I'm very happy. But, uh... I could not be more proud. Boy, what a change of events after the first three games of qualifying with that ball I got stuck with purchasing on the first one. Once those three games were over and I was able to get to level five and purchase a new Storm Ball, man, things changed from there on out and never looked back. It's been very, very good. So I'm looking forward to the next event. Damn, I got 173,000. Dude, when I bought that bowling ball, I was at 42,000 left. I, it started me at like 50. I bought two balls. That new storm ball that I got, that I have now, actually. I actually did buy the other ball, too. The high road, didn't I? Or did I not get to that yet? I don't remember. I did buy a third ball, so I must have bought that. I remember buying a third ball. But anyway, man, I had 42000 Look, I'm up to $173,000 now. Almost gained 130000 through nine games of qualifying all that, from all the strikes I was getting, earning money. Won the... the oh, that's awesome. Oh, I'm loving this career mode, man. I, I guarantee I'll be playing this PBA game a lot more. I know I did not play 2021 as much. The very first PBA game, I had like 55 videos from the career mode. I actually ended up going through the career again. That's how much I played the first one. The last one, 2021, I did not play that much. I think I only have 21 videos in my playlist of career mode on that. That's all I got to. But man, now that I actually have a, a fun career mode, uh, this is definitely going to be a lot of fun. So I definitely want to play this a lot more. And we'll get back into bowling. I know... A lot of my views on this channel, believe it or not, came from the PBA Pro Bowling, which I was very surprised. Considering all the games I play, I play almost anything to pick up anybody's crowd. But I did not expect to pick up so many people watching all my PBA Pro Bowling videos. I appreciate it, obviously. But man, PBA Pro Bowling it was would have been one of the games you wouldn't think people would actually be into watching. But I guess there's definitely hardcore bowlers that really got into watching it. I don't know, but I'll, I'll take it. Um, maybe tomorrow morning I'll do it, depending on what time. I'm leaving tomorrow around 12, a little after 12. We're going to the Yankee game tomorrow night. <coughs> so, again, like, well, that'll actually be quick because it's just three games of qualifying and then the stepladder. So that, you know, there's no qualifying. That'll actually be quick. So I could do that one tomorrow morning, no problem. If I have like, if I have an hour, I can easily get that done, I think. That should be guaranteed less than an hour video. <clears throat> um, so that's, that's good with that. So I, I can probably play that tomorrow morning if I get up in time enough. Enough time to actually play it. Because I do have to do a couple things in the morning also. So we'll see. But... Um, we're going to head over and do some uh, Simulator Week stuff. Here it's day five of seven of Simulator Week. And uh, we're going to head to that. And then we'll see what we can play afterwards. I don't have to work tomorrow, so I will be up a little later. So I'll probably get some more games in. I can actually do a Simulator game for tomorrow. Which I was thinking maybe I racing. I can do I racing, a race after. <clears throat> but uh, still have Goat Simulator, Farming Simulator 21, Microsoft Flight Simulator, American Truck Simulator, Bus Simulator 21, and I racing left. I'm gonna save Bus Simulator 21 for Deanna. Hopefully she didn't couldn't play it tonight. I guess so. That's why I was gonna do Bus Simulator 21 tonight, but Deanna said no, not tonight. So I wanted to say, wait for her so we could do that together. So can't I won't be home tomorrow until probably two in the morning, which would be Saturday. So I'm gonna have to wait till Saturday night, the final day of it, to do Bus Simulator 21 at least, and then probably American Truck Simulator and Bus Simulator 21 will be the will be the last two on the final day of Saturday tomorrow. Well, tonight I was planning on doing Goat Simulator and Flight Simulator, which means would leave iRacing and Farming Simulator 21 
for tomorrow. So, anyway, that'll do it for this. We'll be back in just a minute with the next game. Goat Simulator it will not be a long video because I have no idea what I'm doing in that game. And I'm just playing it to do my simulator week that I like to do special weeks for. That's a good good way to play games. I don't play much. <clears throat> Halloween week will be coming up in a month and a half. So that's always fun to look forward to. Get my scared out of my mind on half of the games and freaking especially the VR ones. God damn. Anyway, we'll be back in just a minute. Thanks for watching. PBA Pro Bowling 2023 for its debut here tonight as it came out yesterday.